Hey there everyone, Hitesh here, back again with another video and in this video we are talking about some of the design products which are pretty interesting and I think if you are a programmer or not, you definitely should take a look on them. Before we start the video, I would like to put this front disclaimer that I'm not a professional in design, I'm just a student who has started just a couple of years ago and I'm learning a lot, but not at all a professional in any manner. So let's get started and talk about the three major products which are currently leading the design industry. Just a few years ago, every single designer who wanted to design a product like a website or a mobile phone screen or application was using Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop to design these screens. A company named Sketch realized this very quickly that these tools are not designed to design these interfaces. So it's not like we are using the tools not perfectly. It's time that we need a fresh tool, a completely new product that is designed specifically keeping in mind that people are going to be using it to design either web or the mobile interfaces mainly. So a new company came into the market, Sketch, whose initial product was not really a great success, but after I guess the version 3 launch, it became an insane hit. It was really a powerful product and soon designers realized and jumped onto it and they loved the product. Still, there is a total huge separate fa fan base of this Sketch application and currently still it is being considered as one of the most industry standard for the design. Don't believe me? Just go on to the other two industry leaders website, Sketch, XD and Figma. These are the three we are talking about. Go on to the Figma website, they still say that hey, now you can convert all of the Sketch files into Figma. XD also put it on the very front that now you can convert your Sketch files into XD. Denoting this fact that yes, Sketch was the leader. Why was the leader? It is still one of the leader, but now it has got competition by the product Adobe XD and Figma. Adobe being one of the, no doubt, a very big competition, and in fact, one of the top leaders in the market about the design products and the photo-based products. They soon realized that we are missing things with the Illustrator and Photoshop. We definitely need to launch our own version of the sketch and they come up with the XD. And you can see in the product itself that every single design product which is coming out now, whether it is Figma, XD or any other as well, they are highly inspired by the interface which was designed initially by sketch. So Adobe XD came into the market and after that, came into the picture Figma, which is totally a web browser based. So everything is just in the browser. You sign into up and then you see everything just right there. There is no update, nothing at all. Everything is in the browser based. All of these products are having some of their advantages and some of the features that you'll be missing up. But here's my point. And yes, of course, you might be wondering which one I use as a daily basis. I use Adobe XD and I'll tell you the reason why it fits best in my workflow. But first, you need to understand something different. Have you heard about the movie Harry Potter? I'm pretty sure you have at least heard about it. Now, what if I say that the script of the Harry Potter was written on this XYZ software and that is the reason why it is so much of a great movie? This sounds absolutely bizarre and totally insane that what this software has to do by writing the script of this Harry Potter. Exactly my point. All of these softwares that you see, XD, Figma and Sketch, they are pretty great software. In fact, they are the state of the art application designed in this era. But the interface or the design that you're going to design for your application has nothing to do with the software. Surely they help in certain features, but as of now currently, all of them are just absolutely insane fast as well as productive. I personally use Adobe XD because a lot of the assets that I receive from the client work or probably what I design comes up majority of the time in Adobe Illustrator format or the Photoshop. And since I already have to open up some of the Adobe products and the seamless workflow between the Adobe product is really amazing for me. But this might not be the case for you. You might want to get started with Figma or maybe Sketch. It's totally up to you. None of the software is lagging behind. All of them are just fronting into the race. Pricing. Yes, pricing can be a big issue if you're getting started and of course in the initial days not everybody has got the money to just pay to a certain software. But again, uh, there are different techniques that are being used by different companies to get some of the traction from the customer. For example, Sketch is totally a paid software and uh, that's really an amazing software but $99 can be a little bit uh, higher on the price side for some of the starting beginners. Adobe XD, although it comes up with the cloud package that you come consume, but that's also not really very cheap. Figma is in its initial days, so they are also offering a free tier, but 
I'm pretty sure soon they will be charging something for that. Now here's the point that the designers and the programmers that they hire, all of these companies, they don't work for free. You might really shout on the comment section on the YouTube on every single video, hey, why are you charging money? Just offer everything for free. But on the end of the day, you are learning all, the, all these things because you also want to charge companies something for your services. So you don't work for free. These engineers don't work for free for any of these companies. Eventually, they're gonna charge some amount of money. So make sure you understand this, that products are not for free. Yes, that's a different debate to talk about which one is cheap, which one is not. But understand one thing, eventually everybody is going to charge you. The design skills that you are going to be learning on any of the software, Sketch, XD or Figma, they are all transferable. Means once you understand the color basics, the designs, aspect and all of these things, you can do the exact same thing in any of the software. Certainly some of the keyboard shortcuts and workflow is little different, but I don't think you're gonna take more than a week to adjust on any of these softwares. If you'll ask me, yes, I'm enjoying my time in designing the stuff on Adobe XD, but do I miss certain features from all of these? Yes, of course I do. Especially in the sketch, you can convert any of the text into a vector format and you can change all of these corners and all of these things. You can have multiple shadows. I miss those features still in Adobe XD. In the Figma, creating the arcs is super easy. They, they show off that in the front of their website as well. And I still miss these kinds of features in Adobe XD. XD has got some of its own features which are not there in other two softwares. So just because one or two piece of products or one or two piece of features are missing in my product and other product is having it, it doesn't really make sense to just completely leave these products. They eventually are gonna come up with something better or something very similar to that. So here's my final conclusion. These three pieces of softwares are state of the art product. They are all amazing. I use Adobe XD doesn't mean it is the best product in the market. It just fits right well into my workflow. Somebody is using Figma because it is browser based and the team collaboration is good. It might fit his own workflow style. And somebody is using Sketch. And of course, I highly encourage you to learn more about the design skills, the color selection. It's gonna make you eventually a better product designer as a coder as well. And the most important takeaway from this video is just because your favorite YouTuber or the people who are following, they're using a certain product doesn't mean it's the best product. It means it suits their workflow nicely. And so is the case for me for Adobe XD. So stop messaging me on the Instagram that, hey, is the Adobe XD best because you are using it? No, it's not. Everything has got its flow. It just works and suits best for me. And a final note, I know video is a bit longer, but a final note is essential. Now make sure you also spend a little time on the designing as I've been saying for the years. Surely, lots of people are gonna criticize you. Hey, your color selection is bad. You are a terrible designer. You should stick to the code. Don't listen to them as the Arnold says. Ignore the naysayers. They are just the naysayers. Don't listen to them too much. They just are doing their job, you keep on doing your job, and eventually they'll be just criticizing you for over the years, within just two or three years, you'll be an absolute better designer, and that's gonna help you in designing the product as a coder as well. So don't listen to anybody, just make sure you spend a little bit time about reading on the designs and stuff. There's so much you can do in that world. And of course, that is too much fun as well. So that's it for this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well, and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.